I'm working on the um, Logic Goat models which are up on the store. I'll put a link on the page so you can see. Um, the idea with the Logic Goats is they're like, they're like Logic Gates um, but instead of gates they're goats. So here's the example. This is the one that I'm working on at the moment. Um, now I already have an AND goat. You have two buttons on the front and in the AND goat if you press one button nothing happens. If you press the other button nothing happens but if you press one AND the other then the goat nods his head. And the OR goat is already up on the store and that's if you press one button OR the other button OR both buttons then the goat nods his head and the final one is the NOT goat which is if you NOT press in a button the goat nods his head. Um, the one that people keep emailing about and saying why don't I do is the exclusive or goat and the idea with an exclusive or is part it's the same as the um, as the other goats in the sense that it's like a logic gate in a computer in an exclusive or logic gate uh, if you press one button or the other button the, the goat nods its head but not if you press both so it's one or the other, but not both. So it's exclusively or. Okay. Um, this is the mechanism that I've got so far. You can see that this part here will be connected to the head, and as that rocks, that will that will nod the head. So uh, if I tilt it like this, you should be able to see buttons and the moving part. So if I press one button, the part, this the the linkage part rocks. If I press the other, it rocks the other way. If I press both, it stays still, and that's basically because of this part in the middle. Uh, tilt it a little bit, press one, and it tilts that way, press the other, tilts the other way, press them both, it just lifts up and it doesn't rotate this part, and this part is going to be connected to the head. So in the actual model itself, there'll be a linkage that goes up through the bottom there, there's a hole in the base there, and then it connects to these inside. I don't know if you can see it inside there. Look, it, lift, it connects to that, and when that pushes up, the head goes down. And the problem that I'm having is that when you press this button here, that lift that lifts up, but it's not very strong. So you know, I can just move that down really easily, and I'm not getting enough push through from there. To lift the head, so I've tried adding. I've added a couple of weights here. These are just coins wrapped up in paper, and they're well, they're helpful, but they're not brilliant. And uh, when I connected it, I connected it all together last night, and it worked very briefly, and then it stopped working at all. So now, if I connect them together, that's what it's. That's what it should look like as a finished thing. Uh, and there are linkages. These are my linkage parts here, they will go inside between the rocker and the push rods on the bottom of the head, on the back of the neck. Um, at the moment it sort of works intermittently, it's not very good, uh, so I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board a bit, see if I can work out how to stop that part rotating when I don't want it to.